Good morning guys, happy Monday. Welcome to another weekly vlog. First things first, thank you so much for all the love on the last one. I honestly am so grateful for all of you and I love that you loved the last vlog as much as me because I spent so long editing it and I really wanted it to be like a cute edit, really fun, back to the roots of like lots of montages and stuff. And I personally really liked editing and watching it back. So I hope that you guys liked it too and liked the new format. This week is gonna be, I wanna say busy, but I don't really think it's gonna be that busy. I'm not really sure. So I've got a few different bits on. Today is gonna be quite a quiet one because i've finally finally got someone picking up the unit from facebook marketplace i've got a spin class later and then i'm gonna spend most of the day just getting on with editing and stuff which is my typical monday mood like normally my mondays are spent editing and like catching up on emails and stuff tomorrow i've got a really busy day in london i've got a few meetings and stuff wednesday thursday friday i'm not really sure what i'm gonna be doing yet but probably something and then obviously the weekend but it's my only weekend in the UK for the next, I think, month and a half, which is mental. Literally, well, not, not in the UK per se, because I've got a friend's wedding and stuff, but most of the weekends are gonna be spent out of the UK, um, apart from like one or two. So it's gonna be a busy one, but I'm really excited to have a nice cozy week. But I'm gonna stop waffling um and get back to making my lunch which should be ready by now i don't know if you guys remember but at the end of last week's vlog i mentioned that i got a new loungewear set from a place called aramint james and this is said loungewear set it's so so comfy and it's like a waffle texture so it's really nice really slouchy and i got a medium just so it's a little bit more oversized and the shorts have a drawstring so you can really pull them in so i do have to pull them in otherwise they're a bit loose but they're just so comfortable and i like that they're just quite nice and slouchy a parcel's just turned up from Chelsea Piers as we're talking about loungewear so I thought I'd show you what's in here because they've sent me over a couple of bits and they are one of the best pyjama brands ever. I mentioned it in my declutter video because I've got a green pair with giraffes on but they're so comfy and they've kindly sent me over a couple more bits. So we've got two pairs of PJs and a swimsuit. So let me just show you what I've got. So this is the first pair of pyjamas. This is from their Seashores collection, which is like a sea inspired, but how cute are these? They've got little whales and rainbows all over, adorable. So this is the top. It's just like a little short sleeved, classic pyjama neckline, short sleeved number. Very, very cute. And then I also have the matching shorts. They're just the softest thing ever and they have the cutest little prints on. And if you go on the website, they've got hundreds of different designs. So there's literally something for everyone. And then this is the other PJs that I have, which are a little bit more simple, but really, really cute. And definitely ones that you could wear as loungewear as well. So this is the top. It's got like a toweling texture with the little print on. Very cute, nice and oversized. And it is short sleeved, but it's quite long short sleeves. So it's a bit more oversized slouch vibes. And then it comes with a little bralette that's just again, very, very cute, same print. And then you also have the matching shorts which look like this. So again, just very classic little shorts, high-waisted and in the same same print, same color. But that's such a cute set. Like I would 1 million percent take that on holiday with me and put like a white bikini top and white like Birkenstock or something because it would be a really cute outfit. I feel like I've got so many sets that just get packed, but they're so handy because you can wear them as a set or you could wear it as like separates and just put the shirt with like a different pair of shorts or you could put the shorts with a different shirt. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just very versatile and just really cute. So thank you Chelsea Piers for those and Araminta James for this one. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crack on with editing now because I've put it off all day and it's now one o'clock. So I should probably get down to the editing. <laughs> It is Tuesday today and I haven't actually picked up the camera yet because I've been up since 5am going into London and various events going on. So I had Stronger this morning, then we went for a bit of lunch and now we're actually at an eBay Love Island event. So basically we're having a little sit down dinner as you can see behind me and we basically get the first look at all of the Islanders clothes this year which I think is mental. This is Hannah, I will leave her link down below. The awkward little <laughs> in the vlog. Um, but basically this around the 
room which I'm going to show you is all of the collections of clothing that the islanders get to wear so it's all second hand it's all from eBay and genuinely I think this is the best thing they could have done because it's just gonna be really cool to see all of these on islanders but also knowing that they're wearing secondhand clothes um, we've had a little look at some of the labels there's some things like there's some Dior there's been some Levi's there's been some Topshop like there's a little bit of everything which I think is quite cool so there's literally like a wide range of things Um, there's no denying the influence that Love Island has on fashion. Within eBay, we just see the searches go completely off the radar uh, when something is popular on screen. If there's one thing that drives me barmy about this flat, it's that like I've got absolutely nowhere to dry my clothes. The living room just doesn't make sense because then when we're watching TV, we're like surrounded by washing. And if I'm in the office, I'm typically filming so it can't go in there and it's also too small. So it just ends up in the kitchen and it's really annoying, especially if it's raining because I can't put it outside. So it ends up just kind of stacked here. So and it's just, ugh, I don't know, but I'm gonna put my heated one on. I'll leave this linked because it's amazing, but I'm gonna pop that on and then hopefully it'll dry a little bit quicker. And it means that I can put it away because it is really annoying me. It's just very, very in the way. Wanna make it a swim up, living on the ground. I've spent the entire morning running around sending parcels off for Vinted because I filled up the locker at one of the ones that I know of. So there's like a few different ones near me, but one is really big and it's the one I've just come to. And then there's a couple of other ones that just aren't as big. Um, so as I got here a minute ago, the guy was actually emptying it. So I always look a million ways when I'm reversing now because someone hit my car the other day. Not badly, there's just like some scratches on the front and he has to pay loads of money because he hit me and he was reversing and wasn't looking, which is always good fun. But he also was an asshole, so good riddance. So I basically filled it up, waited for him to take them all out because he said I had to fill it up first before he took any. I've just gone back again and put all of the other ones in. Now I've got to go and do the yodel ones and then I've got one UPS. I actually bought a label printer which is not something I've ever had before but considering I only use my printer to print labels it made sense. So I just got one of them and it's the easiest thing ever and there's no faff which is great. So that's been a game changer and it turned up last night so I quickly like packaged everything up and just thought I'm gonna get on with it and just do it but I'm glad that I didn't drop anything off last night because it was actually full by like two I do actually really recommend Vinted I've been really loving it as a buyer and a seller the whole like layout is just really nice but also it's just so convenient like the fact that the postage is decided by the buyer and they pay for it and it doesn't come to me and then I have to pay for it or anything like that it's just so much easier than like Depop for example because the Depop payment where you could pay like through the app I didn't really like like I found it really useless because it would be like oh someone's gonna come pick it up and then no one would ever turn up and then I'd have to pay double because no one would turn up and pick up the parcel so I'd have to send it myself it was just a faff so I'm really grateful for Vinted. In case you're wondering this is today's outfit so I've got on my another version little quarter zip which I'm obsessed with I got this last week and I've just been living in it I do normally wear it with the shorts but today I was running around obviously doing the parcels and stuff so I've just popped on my green Adenola leggings which if you've watched my videos before you'll know I really don't think they are good for workouts but they're really good leggings if you just want something to kind of lounge around the house in or alternatively yoga I find they're quite good at kind of soft workouts like yoga and pilates but not so much like weight training or cardio or anything so they are really comfortable but just not for the gym or spinning or anything like that really but this has just come from a brand called girl knows all and I thought I would just open it up and show you what's inside because it looks like it's going to be quite a good box not gonna lie um so this is I mean this is just adorable isn't it to be honest so cute Ooh, look at this this is so stunning such a nice picture I love this um set the have a nice day set so cute but this is the Dion Crow collection so I'll have a little look in here and see what we've got oh lots of goodies okay right oh it's very like disheveled I feel like I need to organize it but I'm not going to <laughs> so we've got some Bondi Sands SPF 50 this is going to be really ideal I'm going to take this with me next week 
There is a little phone charm, which just says Jess on it, which is very cute, like the little pastel colours. Actually matches my nails. I don't know if I've showed these yet, but these are my new nails. I'm completely obsessed with them. I think they are the cutest thing ever. I went for a little bit of colour, and it's not something I normally do, but where they're really nice and subtle, I think it kind of works, and it just goes with this box, really, doesn't it? So there's a rhubarb and cucumber spritz there. There's a little hair claw, thickening hair and scalp mask. Some advanced foot peeling mask. Oh my God, I really want to try one of these, but I feel like maybe not before a trip because it removes um, cells in seven days. No, we're going to do this after the trip. <laughs> and then in here, I've just got a couple of little bits. So there's these little shorts, which just say sunny days ahead on the bum. And they're just nice little sweat shorts. And then this t-shirt is like so. And I think it's plain on the back. Here it is. But it just says happy days ahead on the front. It's very, very cute. Oh no, sorry, sunny days ahead, not happy days ahead. But so cute, it's got like a nice, I don't know how to explain this, but it's kind of like a bobbled, bobbled, what's it called? I don't know what you call it, but it's really cute. So thank you very much, Girl Knows All, for that. I absolutely love. I'm gonna make sure that's all folded and stuff in a minute, but I wanted to quickly show you what I got from Stronger first, because otherwise I'm gonna spend ages tidying up and stuff before I show you. So this is what I got from Stronger. Maybe let me pop you on something so I can actually show you better. That's better. They gave me a tote bag, which we always love. Can't get enough of tote bags, I've got so many of them. And then in here, there's actually two different bits. So I've got one lounge set and then one active wear set, which I'll show you first, because I'm obsessed and I'm gonna wear this later. So first up is a little sports bra, which just looks like so. It's got the little stronger branding on it and then the straps cross over and it's got a proper bra fastening at the back, which I don't really have any bras like this, but. I think it's quite cute and then it is quite padded as well which again i don't really own any padded ones but i like the padding there's nothing more annoying than when you get gym wear wash it and then it has that like pads that just kind of like move all over the place and fold up and they're just annoying and then there's also these leggings which are just the power tights in the classic classic black and then they were explaining that this is like a brand signature obviously and it's basically to symbolize like balance and all that kind of thing so very cute and they do actually have a little pocket in the back which is really nice but i really like these and they look like they're going to be really comfortable so i'm going to wear those to the gym later on and then there's also a windbreaker which again really handy for heading to the gym just kind of matches so you've got the stronger branding down the front and then the little two stripes on the arm and it's like a nice black soft fabric and then the other thing they gave me was actually a set and it's pink which is a little bit out of my comfort zone but i think we're going to just go with it and see what i think when it's on because i'm starting to lean more towards color hence the nails and i'm starting to incorporate it in slight little bits in my wardrobe rather than like fully just going for it but this is the set. So it's a little toweling number with the shirt. And then there's a matching crop top, which has a little crossover back. And then there's also some little toweling shorts, which are really cute. So a good little set for summer. I really like it. So thank you to Stronger and to Girl Knows All for those bits. I did, by the way, order a new water bottle for anyone wondering. My other one fell off the spin bike and it basically cracked and it was leaking everywhere and it was really annoying. So I ended up having to put it in the bin because I couldn't drink from it without it just like spilling everywhere. Um, so I ordered another one in green. They do like green, blue, white or red, but it's like a burgundy. So I went for a green and that's all I've had today. I actually need to drink more water. Weekly reminder to drink more water guys. But I'm gonna get back to editing for the next couple of hours. And then I've got a spin class at six o'clock, which is in Oh, actually, it's only, I've only got an hour. <laughs> I thought I had longer. So I'm going to head back to editing for an hour and then go to my spin class. Good morning, guys. It's Friday today. And I'll be honest, I actually thought it was the weekend for the last two days. It feels like the weirdest, longest Sunday on record. It's so bizarre. And I think it's where we've never had like a four day weekend starting Thursday to Sunday before. It's just very strange. If you didn't know, it's the Platinum Jubilee weekend in England. So it's basically a weekend to celebrate the Queen being on the throne for 70 years, which is absolutely mental when you think about it like she's literally been on that throne since our grandparents were kids very strange but um james and i are heading into kingston today so we're going to go and get some poor boys which is our favorite little food place and we're just going to have a little walk along the river i need to take a couple of bits back to zara and we're just going to try and have like a really nice chilled day in the sun because it's beautiful outside but i thought i'd give you a quick rundown of my outfit before we leave 
So as I say, it's very, very warm outside. So I've just popped on a little blazer, which is my H&M one. And then um, the t-shirt is the Zara one that I wear all the time. I've actually got a couple of these in like different colors and I just live in them. Then my shorts are the Levi's high-waisted mum shorts, which again, an absolute obsession. I bought these just before LA and I wear them quite a lot. I have actually just bought them in blue as well because I had them in blue before they were the wrong size. So I've swapped them back. And then my belt is actually a Primark one that I picked up the other day for four pounds, but I quite like the buckle of it I think it's really nice and then I'm just gonna wear Converse and take my little Louis bag and that's my outfit. If you remember me and James did this this exact weekend last year actually I'll leave the vlog link below but it's so nice to just sit along the river and just have a poor boys if you've never been to Kingston I highly recommend getting poor boys it's so good it's like how do you describe it it's like barbecued but like just really good I normally get the cauliflower and the corn things are new they're a new addition I've tried but um, everything is just so good and I'm very excited wait hang on that's the cauliflower thing. It's not the same. <laughs> okay, so what I normally get is the cauliflower, like, they're almost like just fr it's fried cauliflower bites, basically. But they now do it in a roll. So I've actually got a cauliflower roll with mayonnaise and Louisiana rub, and then the corn, and then James has got two little bits down here as well. So we're just going to enjoy these sitting on the river. We did try and get cider, but they don't do the cider anymore either. So we just went for little soft drinks. Oh my goodness, that was the most relaxing little day date ever. We're trying to make a conscious thing of like doing things together when we've got days off, especially because like it's so easy to end up just sitting in the house and getting really bored. So today we did that, went into Kingston, went and sat along the river, which is something we've always done. We did it about three or four times last summer and we're trying to make it into like a little tradition. And we were gonna go on the boats again today, which we also did before, but we decided we're gonna wait till later in the summer. And they actually contacted me to work with me, so we're going to see if we can do that as well. But um, it was really nice. And if you ever do it, or you live kind of near the area, or you're ever around the area, I highly recommend going to Poor Boys and getting some food and then sitting along the river. Um, we tend to just get, like, you get, like, Dirty Boy and, like, beef, pork. Brisket. Yeah. And then I get the cauliflower. Well, I used to get cauliflower bites that were, like, fried cauliflower. They don't do it anymore. They do it in a roll. But I didn't really like the roll because it was just covered in mayo. And it was like that creamy mayo that's kind of like buttery, which I mean, hello, IBS life and also dairy intolerance, like can't really do that. But I did eat the, um, the cauliflower out of it and I also had corn ribs, which is basically where they just cut corn, like if that's your piece of corn, they cut it like that rather than like, um, and it was really good. So yeah, did that. And then we also popped into the shop. So I thought I'd quickly show you what I got in Zara while James is driving. I just got two little bits for my next trip which I promise you I will be getting up the travel diaries at some point. I haven't yet filmed it because I keep forgetting to film it, but it will be coming. So I just got this, which was 25 pounds, just a cute little oversized open knit jumper, which I thought would be good for wearing like over a bikini or something or like with some shorts on holiday. And then I got this, which I thought would be cute for like, I, I'm thinking sunset with a white or a black bikini underneath would be really cute, but also depending where we're going or what we're doing like I could wear it to dinner and just put like I don't know a little like high-waisted bikini bottoms underneath with a little I don't know I don't know it's just like a silver kind of mesh chain style dress and that one was 29 pounds but I have so many summer trips this year and I'm probably gonna have loads like every coming year as well and I wanted to get some bits that would really fit into my summer wardrobe but like have longevity to them so things that I can take on all my trips in the future things I can take now and if you saw my last week's vlog I'm doing a massive declutter at the moment. So there's gonna be lots of things. Well, there's already lots of things leaving my wardrobe and I'm making way for newer pieces that I love. And yeah, that's some of them, but the decluttering video I promise is coming. So is the balcony one. I haven't got around to filming the rest of the balcony one yet, but they are both on the way, I promise. I just need to get around to editing them. And I'm running out of days and I go away in like seven days and I'm just stressed. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> it's Saturday today and Amelia and I are heading over to Vista Village. It's very early in the morning. It's actually only just nine o'clock. We left at eight o'clock this morning because we really wanted to get there before all the traffic of people because I think where it's bank holiday weekend, a lot of people are probably going to be coming. So we thought we'd just get in early, get it done and get out as quick as possible kind of thing. Well, probably not as quick as possible. We'll probably be there a long time, but you know what I mean. So we're just having a little... <laughs> I mean, we're definitely driving around the houses and this is not the way. This is not the way, I mean. Is it the way? No, it's- We've already gone past it. It's taking you to the station. That's okay, we're gonna, we're gonna redo the sat-nav. We are, we're at Bista Village station. 
<laughs> we're at the train station. <laughs> but yeah, we're um we're going to Vista Village for the day and we're currently at the station car park. Oh, do you think it's because you put Vista Village car park and it's brought you to this one yeah, instead of 100%. <laughs> Just a little, little you eat, don't hit those giant concrete blocks. That would not be a good time for you. Ooh. Look at that. Oh my god, that must have I reckon if we were outside that was like this. Yeah. Okay. But yes. Not my first radio. <laughs> I, to be honest, do you think you'll buy anything? Yes. What do you think you're going to buy? Everything. What are you going to look for? Um, holiday things. Good shout. Mostly. I, I, I'm trying to refrain from spending. If I see something I really, really love, then maybe. But I'm not going in with like the intention of spending loads of money because I want to be good and I don't need to spend lots right now. I need to save. So, yes, <laughs> we're going to... Yeah, I feel like where there's so many holidays and stuff coming up, there's a lot of money been coming out. So like we've just paid off Mexico that was really expensive. I've got like another bit of money coming out for going on my trip for my birthday. There's another bit of money coming out for a hen party that I've got in a couple of weeks. Like there's just random like lump sums that just need to leave. So I don't want to go crazy and then not have, basically I'm really bad at saving money. If it's there, <laughs> like if I have 20 pounds, that 20 pounds will be spent on something. That's going. So need to be savey savey, but oh, yeah, good. we're now seven minutes away going <laughs> <laughs> I will catch up with you when we are there. We're not having much luck today. I've bought one pair of shorts from Ralph. Amelia's bought one shirt from Ralph. Well, <laughs> it's a big bag. Sorry, I was like, <laughs> Just whack me on my head. I've got two other ones in there, but they're for Chris. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did you buy him two? Yeah, I got, I got two. I thought you got him one. Oh, cute. <laughs> but um, we've been in like Gucci, we've been at Burberry, we've been at Dior, we've been at Prada, and we're just not having much luck. They don't really seem to have like what we would want. And I know you sometimes have to ask for like back stock, but I feel like if you're asking for the back stock, you kind of have to buy something, otherwise they feel a bit funny. So um, I might have a little look in Chloe and Celine and see, because I know they have really good bits, but yeah, Prada and stuff is just a bit underwhelming, not gonna lie. It just feels like they don't really have a lot and Gucci seemed to have more full price than anything. Like a lot of it wasn't even reduced, which I found quite cheeky because the really nice stuff was obviously full price. Um, but yeah, we're gonna keep browsing. Oh, can we just appreciate I've bought a back lunch <laughs> because I wanted to make sure I had something to eat on the way home so I didn't end up buying like McDonald's or like something that's something naughty. Bad. But we've got the new baby on the back seat. My new child. The new child. I will so show you what she got because I did a little video but oh my god it's so nice. It's my and it's favorite. like the 30th. This is my gift from me to me. From me to me, happy from 30th me, in the future. Turning 30, cry. Turning 30, new job bonus winning at life winning at life bad bitch Spend energy <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna drive home now we got here at 9 a.m and i highly recommend if you come to bista to come so early good. it's been completely dead until about an hour ago and now it's got quite busy but it's so quiet in the morning so i highly recommend coming early you get um, preferential treatment you do everyone talks to you you get better off well not better offers but like i think they're more like catering to you and you also get to look in the cupboards more because a lot of shops like Prada, Celine and I think Gucci I can't remember but I know some of them do have products that's like hidden away so if you ask and there's not many people in the shop they'll open them but if there's a lot of people they tend to not so good to note. Mm. 